Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Florian and today we're going to take a look at the theming capabilities of Atom 2. Now one thing that I have to say before we get into it. Uh, you have two options to modify the CSS files of Atom 2. One option would be inside the iPad in a code editor and I'm going to show you an option for that. And from there you have to save it on the iPad and then drag and drop it into Atom 2. The problem here is that the iOS doesn't allow you to save the files directly into the according folder in iCloud. The second option is, and that is my personal preferred option because I'm a coder and I have all the professional tools already, to edit the file directly in iCloud on your computer. Because if you have iCloud set up, and I have a Mac, but it's probably going to work also as well with any Windows machine, you have a folder where you see all your iCloud folders and in that folder will be the file and you can just change it there, duplicate it, etc, etc. And it saves you a lot of hassle. One thing is, if you are changing CSS files, A, having a good code editor is nice and also having mouse and keyboard is really nice. So if you have, like me, a iPad that has a keyboard, that's great. But if you don't, I would advise you to do this on a computer because otherwise it will get really annoying. For example, if you can't copy and paste fast and you want to change a lot of colors, etc., etc., you have to Google maybe colors. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. If my voice sounds a little rough, don't mind me. I had a cold and it's still not fully over, but I guess it will work. Okay, so let's check where those files actually are. And for this occasion, I got a mouse because I thought it's probably easier to follow what I'm actually doing. And if you click on files, you have to go to iCloud Drive and you will see that Atom created a folder there. And if you go into that folder, you see a subfolder called Piano Roll, which makes sense. And if you go into that folder, you will have a bunch of subfolders. One of them is called Styles. We're going to ignore the other ones for now. And inside that style folder and inside that subfolder, you will have the CSS folders that you created yourself and also the examples. We're going to take a good look at the examples. And I created two. First one is called Homebrew and the second one is called Solarized. And we'll take a look at those in one second. For uh, the code editor. So I researched a little bit and the code editors on iOS are quite capable, but most of them are pretty expensive. But I found one that is cheap because it's free as of right now and it's called Coder. I will link this app down in the description. And if you install that and then go into files and click one of the files or double click, it will directly open up in Coder and this is how one of the themes is going to look like. So now that's first because it's more visual, check out how this looks in Atom 2. So I've already created that. I have an instance of Atom 2 here, a few nodes. Those don't matter for now because I don't have anything attached to it. So this is going to be a tutorial without making music, it's just about theming. And if you click on set style, you will see that all the CSS files that you have in this folder are actually available here. Those are the examples and those are the ones that I created. So let's take a look at homebrew first. Kaboom. All right. So you can immediately see that this is a little homage to uh, 90s text editors and the matrix it's green so let's check out how this looks i'm going to go back to coder so here now in coder i have the css file open so if you have worked with css before it's going to be very simple and straightforward for you all i did is set a few colors and that was it and if you haven't worked with css before that's no problem it's actually very straightforward it's a simple text file that can be edited in any text editor and it's human readable so very cool what i would advise you though is open up one of the example files in parallel so after you've created a I would suggest empty CSS file. You open up one of the examples, for example, let's say default, all right? And inside default CSS, you will see a very long list of stuff that you can change, uh, for example, colors, font sizes, etc., etc. And it's all commented. I said probably better start with, a, with an empty CSS. The reason for that is that you would have to fill in everything that is in default CSS for it to work. So what I would say is like start with an empty CSS file and just copy one thing. For example, I started with this double points root, curly brackets, and then just accent color one and call it brackets closed. Because in this way I can test like my theme step by step and I found out that this is the best approach. So if you just want to change, for example, the main colors of a theme, you just need X in color one and X in color one, alt A and alt B. Let's go back to my theme. So what you can see here is a lot of green. 
right? You see the main color is green, the main text and the icons is green, the notes is green, etc. etc. What does green mean in CSS? So as you can see, and that's the reason why I made this specific theme, we are putting in the colors in a mode that is called RGB, red, green, blue. I chose this specific theme because it's a good way to demo how RGB works. RGB is a short form for red, green and blue. And if you put in colors that way, you have three numbers, those represent red, green and blue. And the values go from 0 to 25, 0 means nothing, 255 means everything. So if you have everything on 0, it's black. You can see this in accent color 1, Alt, B, RGB 0, 0, 0 means black. And if you have everything on 255, it means white. So I don't have this here, but if I had RGB 255, 255, 255, it would mean white. And there's of course a lot of stuff in between. For example, in this case, if you look at accent color 1, we have RGB 0, 255, 0. So what does it probably mean if red and blue are 0 and green is 255? Yeah, it's green. And a very bright neon green <laughs> to be precise because it maxes out green and minimizes everything else and that's typical homebrew style. So if you look what I have here is accent color 1 is green, accent color 1 alt a is also green, accent color 1 alt b is black and accent color record is red. And so if we look at this in atom 2 now, accent color 1 represents this part here, this is the main color of the theme. Accent color alt a uh, represents the icons and all the text that is inside here. Accent color alt b represents the black that is behind those highlighted icons. And the last one, the record color is the color that the record uh, button with this red has. Okay, so let's get one step further. So now the next part is root dot theme dark. And as you can probably imagine, this means the dark theme. Atom 2 has two color schemes, uh, dark and light. Uh, I found out that actually if I set the dark theme, the light theme also looks pretty good at least for me and I changed in the dark theme the toolbar colors in this case so usually if I go back the toolbar colors are a little bit more grayish let's say like that and I change it to be almost black not totally black because I needed a little bit of contrast between this icon and the background but almost black so if I change this back here to larger fonts for example you will see that it's usually a little bit more gray so in my example um, you can see what I did is I just went here to default CSS I scroll down when you look here you see that Victor labeled everything here with what it is. For example, the snippets panel, the piano keyboard, the piano roll ruler, the piano roll sequence. So that says sequencer background color, etc. Sequencer row border color. And if you scroll through this, you will see that you can customize basically any color in Atom 2. All right. Note background color, note opacity, note velocity bar background color. One more thing. So even if you change the main color, what you still can do is you can click here, click customize note color, change it to anything you like, and it will instantly change it. So even if you use this, what I just showed you, and use it for uh, customizing your theme, you can still override it then in AUM and have your layering, etc. where you can see different notes. So this is extremely cool. There's more, of course. First things first, let's write, let's make a note again. Boo -boo. Okay, so what you have probably noticed is that the way this velocity bar looks is not default, right? It looks different. Let's check out how the default velocity looks. It's just this small little bar. I find that not very easy to see. So what I did is I changed the size of the velocity bar and that's actually pretty easy. If you go back into the editor, you will see that I added this atom.node.velocitybar and if you are a CSS person, you can instantly see how this works. If you aren't, uh, you can just go into the examples and Victor kindly made a bunch of examples for different things that you could do. For example, um, here uh, example velocity colors. If you go inside there, you will see that he made a few things. For example, he gave the node a border radius. So it has a little bit like not sharp edges, but round edges. And here you see the part that I copied over for the larger velocity bar. That's pretty cool. This one I called Solarized. 
Okay, so this looks immediately very different. Uh, I use Solarize because it's a very popular color scheme for coding devices, for example, code editors, and I generally like how it looks. I used the, let's say, orange version. There's also a magenta or pink version, which is pretty cool. So, but what you also probably recognize is that the font has changed, right? Uh huh. He did change the font, and if you click change styles you will see that it also says larger forms uh, sausage sausage font etc etc so how did you do that turns out you can actually use any font that is on google fonts boom mind blown if you don't know what google fonts is don't worry about it i will show you in a second but the way this works is i imported this font from google fonts so how does it work you can see that it says add import url here blah blah, blah and then set atom star to the specific form so how did i find this form very easy you go into your browser and then you go to fonts.google.com and there you choose something that you really like for example i don't know this one black and bold that's cool and then you go inside this font and you click on select this style for the verb for the variant that you want usually this will be regular right and then you click it oh, no, i don't need this warning dismiss and here you switch from link to add import because this is what you saw before and there you have it you can just copy out this part here where it says app add import url blah blah and you also have the correct css rule directly below here so you copy this part the css rule is this part now if i go back here to codem you will see that that's exactly what i did here so i just copy pasted it in and that's it that's literally it and you can use i mean there's crazy stuff in google fonts right let's go back here and let's scroll for a little bit all right so here we have hand lettering small fonts large fonts serifs no serifs slabs that i used before something like this some display fonts stuff i mean you could go crazy there would you need that <laughs> probably not but it's cool that you can do this so there's more there is more so much more. okay so we had already user font right that's the example that i showed you i can click here then next example full key so if you look here you will see that the keys are now full size instead of being the black keys being half okay also very easy if you want to know how this was done you click here you click on example full keys and you will see all that he did is he removed padding like this little distance on the right on atom piano key and if you want that in your theme just copy paste it be done with it okay what more do we have bunch of cool things for example glowing notes aha it glows i would assume that this is some kind of shadow border radius thing let's see yeah a box shadow and also something very interesting that you can see here where it says var in brackets so uh, victor is actually using variables of some kind in this whole css thing so everything that starts with double slash is actually a variable and can be used throughout the theme so here we are already going into more advanced stuff right so what else do we have let's check user font uh, velocity colors so this one is a uh, this is actually a pretty brilliant idea so I, if i click here let's create a second node so those have the same velocity yeah same color right let's change that let's process this velocity and give it a different velocity and now boom different velocity different color that is actually pretty cool the way this was done if we look into the example velocity colors is with a little calculation right so you have a variable available inside the css that is called dash dash velocity and you can use this to calculate something for example here is a little calculation that just changes the u of the color of a filter and in this case of course you could do the same thing with transparency right so based on velocity you change the transparency this is the last example for today and here it looks already different so i have changed unfortunately 
the velocity of the other one too. So let's change this to full velocity. Boom. And so the one with the full velocity is completely full and the one with mm, two-thirds velocity is about 30% transparent. That's also pretty cool. And of course if you look how this was done, yeah, it's pretty much the same. And if you look here you will see that it uses the velocity again to calculate an opacity for this specific node. And I'm looking very much forward to some great themes by some great people that we can try out. And I hope this was interesting for you. I know this is a little bit of a niche topic because probably most people don't want to get into theming of Atom 2. They just want to make music. But I thought since the options are here and it's actually quite easy to do, it's a good thing to make a video about it. I hope this was interesting for you. If yes, leave a like, a comment, upvote, you know, I mean like you know the drill. Do all of them. Like everything. Do it. Just just like